Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make chia seed pudding and more importantly, how to boost its nutritional content. Chia seeds are incredibly high in fiber and relatively high in protein and fat, but if you increase the amount of protein or fat or both, you will feel full and satisfied longer. Let's start with the basic version of chia seed pudding. Here I am using white chia seeds and coconut milk. Coconut milk is great for chia pudding because it contains healthy fats, which are important for increasing satiety and decreasing cravings. Stir until well combined. The chia pudding will be quite liquidy at this point, but as the chia seeds absorb all the liquid, they will gel and the pudding will thicken. This is what the consistency will be like after about an hour or two, but ideally you would refrigerate the chia seed pudding for at least 4 hours. You can top the chia pudding with anything you like. I prefer berries that provide natural sweetness without any added sugar and nuts or seeds for crunch. Here I have raspberries and hemp hearts. The second version of chia seed pudding is with yogurt. This time I am starting with black chia seeds, but it doesn't matter which kind you use. For the liquid, I'm using hemp seed milk, which I made in my Vitamix. I love hemp seeds because they are a complete protein source, meaning they contain all the essential amino acids that your body can't make. I'm also adding cashew yogurt to increase the protein content and leaving out any sweetener because I don't think it's necessary. Mix the liquid ingredients together and pour them over the chia seeds. Stir until well combined and check for any clumps. If the chia seeds stay clumped together, they won't properly absorb the liquid. To top the chia pudding, I have blackberries and walnuts here. Another great option would be nut butter, coconut flakes or even cacao nips. I try to use toppings that are high in fiber or again high in protein or fat. The third version of chia seed pudding is with protein powder. Here I am mixing black chia seeds with white chia seeds. To increase the protein content I am adding my homemade protein powder that consists of four seeds pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, watermelon seeds, and white chia seeds. I'll have a link to the recipe in the description box below this video. Finally, cashew milk, which is naturally sweet, so again, I am not adding any extra sweetener. Cashews are also high in fat, which again, is helpful for increasing satiety. Stir until well combined. Protein powders tend to clump, so stir the pudding well. Top the chia pudding with blueberries and pistachios or any fruit and nuts you like. And that's it! Three healthy versions of chia seed pudding. We've got three types of chia seed pudding here and I purposely removed the toppings so that Tana would just focus on the pudding. So which one is your favorite? This yogurt one is my favorite. It's the creamiest. So I like that a lot. I like that the vanilla and the yogurt interact really well. The tanginess of the yogurt interacts really well with the vanilla. Kind of like enhances the sweetness of it. So I like that a lot. And then my second would be the protein powder. Yeah. That's in this one. It's it's not as full of a flavor though. It's thinner, so it doesn't reside as long. 
like on my palette. I can't detect it after maybe a few seconds. So I like this one better for that reason, but I still think that it's got flavor to it, but it is thinner. And then this one is the most neutral. Coconut milk is the most neutral. So you'll have to put something in it to complement it. And it's like the most plain. But if you throw something in there, fruit, nuts, it'll taste great. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.